I'm just going to get going because they're going to filter in. So some people are not here. Obviously, this isn't everyone. But uh, I've also just realized that my first line on this slide is, hello and welcome to electromagnetic field. But um, <laughs> I did mean to change that, but this was done quite quickly. Anyway, yeah, we're starting again. Uh, we decided that wasn't good enough. Anyway, uh, this is a bittersweet moment for all of us. We have worked very hard for a long, long time on it, and I think this festival has gone better than any we've ever done. It, it, the build-up was hard, the planning was hard, and then once it started, and once you all arrived, maybe slightly after you all arrived, actually, um, it, it started working brilliantly, and we, we have had a lovely time. And we really hope that you agree that this was fantastic, that it went well, and, and you all enjoyed yourselves as much as we did. <laughs> And it, it went so well that the team found themselves, more than once, many of us were wondering if anything was, everything was fine or if our radio batteries were actually just flat. <laughs> because no one said anything, it was fantastic. And like, some of the team found that they had so much free time, they built a giant EMF sign out of all the pallet crates we had for the <laughs> furniture. <laughs> so, I think, I hope you all agree this was a triumph that everyone here did a wonderful job, and you did too. So, in the first talk, oh, I had to press the play button apparently. Look, they were all waving and everything. <laughs> Imagine I pressed that a minute ago. So, in the opening talk, I said that we had 61% of shifts had been filled before the event. That was a record to begin with. We were already shocked and surprised, and we didn't really expect it to get much better. But one of the reasons this all went so smoothly is that you all carried on volunteering, and I asked you to volunteer, and then you did, which is amazing. Keep doing that. And we had 87.1% of shifts filled, which is... This is a record for us by a really long way. I think we've never really beaten 60% before. But over 1,200 people volunteered 142 person days of time across 1,500 shifts over the last three days. Like, that's a lot of volunteering and you did an incredible job. And we really want to thank you from all of the team here for doing it because otherwise it's us doing those jobs and we're much more tired. So. We still have some shifts to fill tonight. We'd really like to hit 90% because that's quite satisfying. So <laughs> if you are hanging around and you fancy doing some of that work, that would be excellent. We also really hope you enjoy the volunteer food organized by the excellent volunteer kitchen. Put your hands up. I'm not sure I've ever seen them look so uncomfortable. That was brilliant. Uh, you consumed 3,800 meals, so presumably the food was good, or you were just very hungry. I don't know which. Every single one of you who volunteered this year will get a code that guarantees you a ticket to the next EMF in two years' time. Fingers crossed that it happens in two years' time, but you know. So thank you very much for that, and really your help. Without you, it would be impossible. This event relies on you putting some time in. I have some bits and pieces from the info desk, which we need to talk about briefly. Um, just, this isn't exciting, but, well, this one is. Uh, so we still have some lost and found items, including someone's wooden teletype board up code fan, which has been lost somewhere, and number someone hasn't picked up yet, so that'd be nice to get back. Is it behind the info tent? It's behind the info tent, please go and collect that. Uh, please come and collect your lost things, otherwise they go home with us, and then one of us finds them in a bag two years later, and we can't return them. We still have things from 2018 that we don't know what to do with, so please come and find your bits and pieces. The uh, info tent also report the fastest time from something being lost to found was nine seconds. <laughs> To be honest, that's me most mornings, but uh, you've also sent 4,000 postcards across the site, 
Uh, and, and the post team report that their trackers say they walked 45 kilometers to deliver them all. <laughs> the info team would also like to report that the crow was fine. That <laughs> lots of people were worried about the crow. The crow now has, is happily in animal rescue and has a special boot. We, we asked for a picture of the boot, but they didn't get back to us in time. So, sorry about that. Um, we also need to apologize to the family of shrews that live in the stump in the middle of Null Sector. We didn't know they were there. <laughs> oh, they're voles! Oh, you see, our on-site shrew expert said it was probably fine because they don't mind noise that much, but maybe voles are more sensitive. Do they like techno? So. <laughs> Apparently they do now, so. <laughs> we also, I, in the opening ceremony, I talked about the reusable cups, new thing we're trying this year. We had 12,000 reusable cups. I have no idea how many have come back, but we would like them all. So if you can go and womble and find cups and take them back to the bar, you can claim that you're reusing the cup, and then you get a discount. So uh, it would be really nice to get them back before the end of, this, uh, before the end of tonight. We also served 8,768 pints, and... I don't know how much beer we've got left. Someone said we're almost out. Do we have an update from the bar team? We, have a real ale, we only have a real ale bar. So if you don't like real ale, you're in trouble. Uh, any other updates on bar that I need to give? Everything is good. Drink the beer. Uh, apparently we could, sell out, we could sell out for the first time since 2016. So drink real ale. It's the better ale. Um, we had more talks, workshops, and installations than we have ever had before by a really long way. I also have to thank the villages for the, really stepping up their game, especially in terms of volume. Uh, they did way more than ever before. We, we had 220 events across all the villages. I think last time we had about 10. So fantastic work, carry it on, but you've set the bar really high and we do expect to do better next time. <laughs> And also, that apparently, there were 700 lasers in the Lazarium for anyone who could get in that tent last night, which I think was about 50 people, anyway. Uh, also, apparently, we had two Zumba sessions, and yesterday morning, there was a park run with 75 people. I don't know who you are, but you're not normally MF attendees. Like, isn't this tiring enough? Like, <laughs> well done, anyway. I wouldn't be doing that. Uh, everyone seems to have loved the arcade. Uh, we've had people setting high scores every single day and being competitive to the point where our conduct team had to intervene. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have some bad news for some children in the room. I don't know which ones. The extremely high scores they got on Appy Bird in the bar were because it was broken. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but that score isn't feasible, <laughs> feasible any other way. Uh, GCHQ report that players captured their bases using the badges over 12,000 times around the site. I didn't even get to try that, so that must have been really satisfying. We also have not just one person, but two people who completed Janie Thompson's marathon. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what this is, it's a game in the arcade that has two buttons. You press one button for the left foot and one button for the right butt, foot, and you run an entire marathon by pressing the buttons. Apparently, it took them over two hours to do this, and more than one person did it. <laughs> there are better things to do here. <laughs> to both people who did that, we have a prize for you. Please come and find us, and you also need RSI treatment. <laughs> Also, I have to thank everyone who brought their junk to the swap shop, and also thanks to everyone who took it away again. <laughs> You've raised £3,000 for charity. We haven't decided which charities yet, but thank you so much. They will be good charities, I promise. And hopefully you've got something interesting to take home with you. If you swapped for part of the swap shop tent itself, we'd like you to swap that back. We do still need most of the tent. And also, if you were the person who contributed some items that had radioactive sources in them, we'd like to talk to you. You're not in trouble, we'd just like to know how many more there are.
please do check the swap shop for anything you left in it before you leave and take it home if nobody took it. It's not that it's rubbish, it's just that, well, no, it probably was rubbish, actually. But <laughs> Sorry. After, I have to thank the sponsors one last time, because without this... Sincerely, every single sponsor, I know there's a lot of you in the room now, thank you so much for doing this. Without you, this was not, would not be possible. Uh, we rely on you, and everyone here, please be thankful to them. I don't look at their jobs pages on something, something you can do to make them happy, but thank you so much. Finally, the important bit, which is we need you, all of you, or some of you anyway. <laughs> EMF is run entirely by volunteers. This is just some of the team. We know at least 140 people were involved in the run-up to the event, and that was months before. This is not 140 people because the stage would have collapsed. And we think it's probably more like 300 plus by now. Sat around here are people who've worked for more than a year. Some just came on site and did it at the last minute, but they've worked extremely hard to do this. Many others are still on site elsewhere tearing things down. We've already started to prepare for tomorrow, and we do need some help tomorrow as well. I'd like to personally thank Russ and Will, who are the co my co-organisers this year. This is Russ. Some of you know Russ. Will. And we'd like to personally thank all of the team, everyone who watches this later and isn't here right now, everyone on the stage, we'd really like to thank you for everything you did. It It wouldn't have been possible without you, and I say that knowing someone who did it without you once, and it was a really bad idea, so. So, also, we have to thank everyone else who was invo involved, all of you. So, firstly, can we have a truly rapturous round of applause for everyone on stage. Deafen us as best you can. Apparently that was 95 decibels, I've just been informed. <laughs> you should have asked me to bring the decibel meter. Oh, apparently Russ said we should have got the official decibel meter, we've only got mats out on the stage. But that was near hearing damage levels, so thanks for that. <laughs> uh, don't worry, you will in a minute. So, uh, we need your help to help make EMF even better. This team, it changes every time. We need you to come and join us. We need people to help out with everything on site. If you can spare some time in two years, no, if you can spare some time in a year. We would love some help. We'd love people to help before the event. That's the hard part for us. Build up on site, we often get a lot of people coming in, but it's the long game before that where we spend months and months and months planning. You don't have to have experience in anything. We will find something for you to do. I guarantee it. Uh, email us. Well, hold on. <laughs> there. <laughs> that still Remember that. It does still work. That one doesn't work. That's a joke. Uh, <laughs> So, finally, can everyone who volunteered, spoke, did a workshop, did anything, please put your hand in the air. Can everyone who hasn't put their hand in the air now applaud?
thank you all so much. And that is basically it. Don't forget that things are going on all night here. We're not done yet. This is just that we need to stop being running content and things. But there is music all night. The bar still needs to be drunk, and we really do need help with that. I'm aware. No, that I don't think we do need help with that. Well, <laughs> Russ says he doesn't need help with it. <laughs> uh, we have too much flamethrower fuel, so we're going to have to use all of it. Also, did anyone notice those are different flamethrowers? They're the most ecologically fl uh, sensible flamethrowers you can get. We got them specially. Anyway. <laughs> Please remember to leave no trace behind when you leave. Otherwise, we have to clean it up and we will find you. So, <laughs> everything you brought with you needs to go home and everything you acquired in the field needs to go home with you as well. And that means litter, absolutely everything. Please don't put things in our bins unless you really need to because we don't have enough waste disposal in the first place. Um, and finally, if you can, can you please carry your chairs outside and put them in the pallets outside? It really helps us, otherwise we have to do that as well. And Flat if you can, but, oh. Flat surface down, apparently. Butt surface down. Butt surface down. It's a very different word. <laughs> so we'd really appreciate that. And the same for the other stages as well, now they've finished. If you can spare some time to pack the chairs down, it's a horrible task and we'd really appreciate it. So that was it. Thank you for coming. Pardon? Oh, there's a... <laughs> Don't pack down stage C, there's a film on. So... <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. Um, two films. Two films on, apparently. Anyway, thank you so much for coming. We will hopefully see you again in 2026. Can we please have one final round of applause for absolutely everyone involved? I didn't put any earplugs in, so uh, <laughs> we think that was better. Oh, yeah, and hack the planet. Bye, everyone.